All right, welcome back, Matrix. So now we're going to be looking at the next couple of uh, uh, sheets of this interest experiments Excel work worksheet. All right, so starting for the loans, I've got three different situations involving loans. I've got an original loan, one where we have decided to add an additional 500 rand per month, and another situation where there has been an interest reduction of 1%. So let's first look at the initial loan, the original, and ignore the additional payments one. So we're taking a loan amount of 1,150,000 Rand. It's worked out that our payments will be 8,875 Rand and 89 cents. No additional payments and an interest rate of 8%, which is very reasonable for the current economic climate that we are in. All right. So, first thing you'll notice, balance at the very beginning is 1.15 million, all right? The interest amount is uh, 7,666 rand and 67 cents, which is fairly high, but that is part of our payment. So, the majority of our payment will be going to paying the interest. As we go down the uh, timeline here, we'll see that the payment will stay the same, but the interest amount is reduced. If I jump down to about halfway through this time period, we're taking this for 300 months, which is 25 years. You'll see that now uh, a little bit over two thirds of the money that is being paid is going to interest. So it's reduced down quite substantially. As we get closer to the end of the loan, we'll see that the interest comes down quite steeply until we get to the final amount where our last payment is paying the balance of the loan and the interest. So our payment's 8,875 Rand and 89 cents. Over the lifetime of the loan, over the 25 years, we've paid out 2,662,765 Rand and 96 cents a substantial amount of money for anyone to pay and you'll see that the interest has actually raised the amount that has to be paid by quite a lot. So what can we do to try to save ourselves some money? Well the first thing you can do is choose to do an additional payment. So having a side-by-side -side comparison here, my additional payment, I've kept the original payment the same but I'm making an additional payment of 500 rand. Banks determine what your payment will be, or any of the businesses that you're borrowing the money from, at least. I've kept the interest rate the same, so we're only looking at the effect of the additional payment. So, instead of paying the 8,875 Rand and 89 cents, we are now paying 9,375 Rand, 89. It immediately has a small change to the interest. We're saving about three rand or so. All right, but the biggest difference comes in as how long we are needing to pay this off. So if I go down to the bottom here of this table, you'll see that now we've got to, instead of 300 months, 257 months. You'll also notice that the last payment is smaller than the rest of them. That's just to pay off that final balance. Uh, some people choose to keep a small balance sitting in their, their bond so that they can access it again and use it in the future. But anyway, we have saved ourselves uh, about three and a half years of, uh, of payments. And so that lets you free quite quickly. The other thing is that the difference between the original amount that was paid overall and the new amount that's being paid is 260980 and 90 cents. All right. The real savings is 132480 Rand. That means that we have taken into account the fact that you have paid an extra 500 Rand per month. So that the real savings are going to be a, a lot better. All right. So... Finally, I want to look at what the situation would be if the interest rate came down. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, but quite recently we have had an interest rate reduction of a full percentage. So 
this is what the effect would have been on the same loan. Straight away, you see that the payment has come down. Instead of being 8,875 Rand 89, instead they're only having to pay 8,127 Rand and 96 cents, which is quite nice. All right, <clears throat> reduction in the interest, obviously, every month, quite a lot. We're assuming that these individuals are going to stay with the same period of time. So in the end, with that 1% reduction in interest rate, they have saved themselves 224,377 Rand and 73 cents uh, over the 25 years, which is nothing really to sniff at. Okay, if you want to play around a bit with these things, there is a loan calculator for you to use. All right, so we've got a payment calculator and a period calculator. I would suggest that you use both of them in tandem. Uh, starting off with the payment calculator, we can just see that we can change the amount of the loan, the interest rate, and the period of time, and it would change the monthly payments. So if the interest rates were to rise, we could see how the interest would then make the monthly payment go up. Similar situation, if it came down, we would lower the amount. If we stayed at the same 8%, but we decided we wanted to pay it off in 20 years, payments would have to go up. So you can see how we would be able to play around a little bit with this. This is really just for you to play around with anyway. Now, if I wanted to take a look at, say, a loan of 2.5 million Rand, 8%, 25 years, and we get that payment. As I said, we want to use these together, so obviously, uh, if I wanted to change this, I could say 2.5 million Rand as well. Still with the 8%, you'll see that there's a problem here with these. That's because we haven't changed our payment to a realistic amount yet. But as soon as it becomes a realistic amount, you'll see it's become 300 uh, months or 25 years, and so on. There's a small difference with this calculator between these two amounts because of a rounding error that Excel does, but we can generally ignore it. It's a couple of rand. All right. If this person decided they wanted to make some additional payments to try to cut down the amount of time, you can always just add in the additional payments that they need to make, and that would save them that time as well. So you can always play around with that. Uh, anyway, in the next video we're going to look at the annuities and annuity effects but that's all for now thank you very much